If you believe all engine oils are created equal, you're in for a shock. I ran the same car under tightly controlled maintenance and real-world driving, rotating through five different oil brands over 200,000 miles. Not five cars. Not five engines. One engine. One life. One teardown. The results? One oil kept the engine whisper quiet and spotless inside. Another correlated with sludge buildup, increased oil consumption, and a check engine light event linked to oil control and PCV system deposits. Not oil alone. And that difference wasn't subtle. It was measurable. It was visible. By the end of this video, you'll know which oil truly protects your engine and which ones are just clever marketing in a shiny bottle. Because after putting Mobile One, Castrol, Pennzoil, Valvoline, and Amsoil through the ultimate long-term test, there was only one clear top performer. And it's not the one most mechanics recommend. Let's dive into the test that took six years and one brutally honest engine teardown. Section 1. The Setup. Real car, real miles, real data, and one brutally honest engine teardown. This wasn't a lab simulation. It wasn't a controlled dino cell. And it definitely wasn't a weekend garage experiment. This was a long-term durability run using a Toyota Camry with the legendary 2.5-liter 2ARFE engine. That matters. Because the 2ARFE is known for reliability. It's overbuilt. It has conservative tolerances. And it's famous for surviving abuse, which makes it the perfect test bed. If oil differences show up in this engine, they will absolutely show up in engines that are more stressed, more complex, and more oil dependent. The rules were strict. Change the oil brand every 40,000 miles. Keep oil changes locked at every 5,000 miles. Use OEM Toyota filters only. Track compression, wear metals, and visual sludge. Drive in real-world conditions. Commuting, highway, city traffic, no extended drains. No additive boosters. No miracle treatments. Just oil doing what oil is supposed to do. The contenders, in order. Castrol Edge, Advanced Full Synthetic Zero W20. Pennzoil, Ultra Platinum, Full Synthetic Zero W20. Mobile One Extended Performance Zero W20. Valvoline, Advanced Full Synthetic Zero W20. Amsoil Signature Series Zero W20. Every 20,000 miles, oil samples went to Blackstone Laboratories. They analyzed wear metals like iron, copper, and aluminum and checked for viscosity loss, oxidation, and fuel dilution. Oil analysis doesn't deliver verdicts. It reveals long-term wear trends when viewed over time. And then, after just over 200,000 miles, we did what most tests never do. We tore the engine apart. Completely. An ASE-certified master mechanic inspected every component. Cylinder walls, pistons, rings, cam lobes, timing chain, oil pickup screen. What we found inside told the real story. Section 2. Castrol Edge. The popular starting point. We began with Castrol Edge, a common dealership oil. It uses Group 3 base oils and titanium FST, marketed as fluid strength technology. For the first 40,000 miles, everything seemed fine. Smooth startups, quiet idle, decent fuel economy. But oil problems rarely announce themselves early. By around 3,000 miles into each interval, the oil darkened quickly. By 35,000 miles, light varnish began forming around the valve cover. Blackstone reports showed moderate oxidation and higher than expected iron at 27 ppm. That's not catastrophic, but it's above average for a modern synthetic. By the end of the 40,000 mile run, early sludge deposits were visible near the PCV area, a critical location for oil vapor management. 
This matters because PCV contamination accelerates oil breakdown and increases oil consumption over time. Verdict. Good startup lubrication. Decent fuel economy. Struggles with long-term heat stability and cleanliness. Fine for short commutes. Not ideal if you plan to keep your car beyond 100,000 miles. Section 3. Penzoil Ultra Platinum. The cleaner performer. Next was Penzoil Ultra Platinum, made from natural gas using Shell's Pure Plus technology. That's important. Gas to liquid base oils are molecularly uniform, which makes them naturally resistant to oxidation and volatility. The difference was noticeable early. Quieter idle. Smoother operation. Oil stayed amber much longer. Blackstone data confirmed it. Iron dropped 35% to 17 ppm. Viscosity stayed solid. Zero detectable sludge in oil passages. At teardown, the valve train looked polished. The oil pickup screen was nearly spotless. This oil didn't just protect, it actively cleaned what previous oils left behind. Verdict, exceptional cleanliness. Strong detergent performance. Excellent thermal stability. A top tier choice for high heat, high mileage daily drivers. Section four, Mobile One Extended Performance. The trusted workhorse. Then came Mobile One Extended Performance. This oil has a reputation for a reason. Cold starts were crisp. Oil pressure stayed consistent. No strange noises, no surprises. Blackstone showed iron at 15 ppm with very low aluminum and lead. There was some viscosity shear after 5,000 miles, but it stayed within SAE spec, exactly what Mobile One claims. Inside the engine, it left a light golden tint. No sludge, no heavy varnish. Its standout strength showed up after long highway drives. Oil temperatures stayed cooler, proof of strong film stability under sustained load. Verdict, balanced, reliable, proven the Swiss army knife of motor oils. Not the cleanest internally, but one of the most mechanically stable oils under pressure. Section five, Valvoline Advanced, the budget champion. Valvoline Advanced uses a molybdenum rich additive package designed to reduce friction. For its price, it performed surprisingly well. Oil pressure stayed strong. Fuel economy was stable. Iron averaged 19 PPM but chemistry has limits. After about 4,000 miles, the oil sheared down faster than premium synthetics. At teardown, cleanliness was average. Some varnish around the timing chain area. No hard sludge. Verdict, excellent value for strict 5,000 mile intervals. Don't overextend it. This is a sprint oil, not a marathon oil. Section six, Amsoil Signature Series. The final test. Amsoil Signature Series uses Piao Group 4 and Ester Group 5 base stocks, among the most chemically stable oils available. The difference was immediate. Smoother sound, cleaner operation. The dipstick stayed golden even after 5,000 miles, something none of the other oils consistently matched in this test. Blackstone results were clear. Iron at 9 ppm, lowest recorded, Viscosity unchanged. Oxidation near zero. At teardown, the mechanic paused, then said one word. Museum level. Cylinder walls. Cam lobes. Oil passages. Oil flowing through engine verdict. Best in class wear protection. Exceptional long-term stability. Expensive per quart, but potentially the cheapest insurance for engine life. That doesn't mean the other oils failed. Under this specific usage pattern, Amsoil simply showed the widest margin of protection. Section seven, the 200,000 mile teardown. The truth, this is where marketing dies. Cylinder walls matter because once cross hatching disappears, oil control is compromised forever. Cylinder walls, Amsoil first. Penzoil close second, pistons and amp, rings, Amsoil cleanest, Castrol showed sticky deposits. 
Timing chain. Stretch. Mobile one best. Amsoil close behind. Valve train. Cleanliness. Pennzoil shocked everyone. Oil pickup. Screen. Amsoil nearly spotless. The mechanic's comment was blunt. If the whole engine looked like the Amsoil section, I'd swear this motor had half the mileage. Section 8. Final ranking. Based on data, wear trends, and visual inspection, here's the ranking from least suitable to most suitable for long-term durability. 5. Castrol Edge. 4. Valvoline Advanced. 3. Mobile One Extended Performance. 2. Pennzoil Ultra Platinum. 1. Amsoil Signature Series Section 9. What should you use? High mileage engines, 100K plus, Amsoil or Pennzoil. Turbo engines, Amsoil best, Mobile One very good. Short trips and cold starts, Pennzoil. Budget daily drivers, Valvoline, but change it on time. Extreme heat or towing, Mobile One or Amsoil. Extreme cold climates, Pennzoil for cold flow. Under this long-term test, Amsoil Signature Series emerged as the top performer. It didn't just protect the engine, it preserved it. If you want your engine to outlast the warranty, the payments, and the average car on the road, this oil gives you the best shot. And if you care about real-world testing, honest teardowns, and cutting through automotive marketing noise with actual data, subscribe to the channel. We don't sell hype. We don't repeat brochure claims. We test, we tear down, and we show you what actually happens inside the engine. Don't just change your oil. Upgrade it.